What breed of dog do you think this is? Is it a French Bulldog? Maybe it's a Boston Terrier. Well, if you didn't recognize it, don't worry. It happens to the majority of people who are not familiar with either of these breeds because they're so physically similar that everybody keeps confusing them. The fact that they're also alike in their personality doesn't help. Welcome back to Dog Law. In this video, we'll do our best to show you the difference and obvious similarities between two very popular breeds the Boston Terriers and the French Bulldogs. Before we begin, we have sort of a pop quiz for you. Let's say you fell in a big swimming pool and you can't swim. One of these dogs comes to the rescue, but the other is not able to swim. Can you guess which dog saves you from drowning? We'll leave you struggling in the water for about five minutes, until we tell you which dog is your lifeguard. Remember to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications. Let's get down to it. Guess where the Boston Terrier is originally from? That's right. In Boston, Massachusetts during the 1870s, the Boston Terriers were born after crossing an English Bulldog and an English White Terrier, the latter now being extinct. Now, the Boston Terriers weren't the same as the ones we know today. The Boston Terriers we know and love today are the product of many intersections and selective breeding between the Pit Bull, the English Bull Terrier and even the French Bulldog. Here we find the first similarities between the French Bulldogs and the Boston Terriers, as both share a typical precursor, the English White Terrier. The French Bulldogs, or Frenchies as they're commonly called, have their roots all the way from England. In the 1860s, small toy Bulldogs were carried to Normandy by English lacemakers amid the Industrial Revolution, and their furry companions were originally very popular ratters. In France, the dogs were bred with French Terriers to become the French Bulldog we know today. The breed became popular with Parisian women who praised their bat-like ears. Later, at the end of the 19th century, American fanciers created the very first French Bulldog Club. It's challenging for an inexperienced eye to recognize young Boston pups from their Frenchy ones because they share so many physical likenesses, like short noses which may provoke them breathing issues. Let's try to point out the differences between the two of them. Boston Terriers and French Bulldogs are both small dogs and similar in size. Boston Terriers' legs are noticeably larger, giving them an elegant-looking posture, while Frenchies have a more muscular build and a larger bone structure. Terriers' longer legs give them a slight edge over their Frenchie cousins at approximately 15 to 17 inches tall and weigh around 10 to 25 pounds while a French Bulldog's stocky frame has them weighing in at 18 to 30 pounds at 13 to 16 inches tall. If we take a look at their heads, we'll also notice that Boston Terriers have round-shaped skulls and sharp-shaped bar ears, while Frenchies are known for their distinctive bat-like ears that are moderate in size and stand erect on their square-shaped heads. On the other hand, French Bulldogs have an extremely short nose, broad nostrils and a distinctive line between them. Similarly, Boston Terriers have wide noses that are black and well-defined with a line between their nostrils. Their flatter faces mean that both dogs are brachycephalic breeds. Their tiny nostrils, long palates and narrow trachea make them incapable to inhale enough air to cool off their bodies. That's why you need to act very carefully with these two breeds while going for a walk during the summer season. Buying self-cooling pads and other cooling items can help a lot in dealing with this issue. The colour of the coat is another way to distinguish a French Bulldog from a Boston Terrier, because Frenchies come in a wide palette of colours such as fawn, brindle, pied, cream or black. In contrast, Boston Terriers are known as the American Gentleman for their tuxedo-style markings in brindle, seal or black with white. The two breeds are fairly low maintenance when it comes to grooming. Because of their short hair, they don't have a solid smell, except for when they begin to make a challenge of tooting. For a similar reason, these dogs are sensitive to chills, and we should take care to secure them. Before we continue, we've left you struggling in the water for long enough. It's time to figure out which of these breeds will swim to your rescue. Well, it's not going to be the French Bulldog, I'm afraid. You see, as a result of their squat frame and bulbous head, French Bulldogs can't swim, so pool owners should keep a watchful eye on their pups. Keep in mind that if you plan a beach vacation, your furry friend might feel a little left out. So on this occasion, a Boston Terrier will come and rescue you from drowning, as Boston Terriers enjoy swimming. A lot of people may think that Boston Terriers can't swim due to being a brachycephalic breed. However, this is not true. 
Boston Terriers can be and are great swimmers depending on the training and the age of the dog. Now that you're rescued, let's continue with the rest of the video. Both Frenchies and Terriers have moderate to low needs of exercise. Sometimes French Bulldogs can have less energy and endure less than a Boston Terrier. Because of their flatter faces we mentioned earlier, both dogs suffer from respiratory issues if they are submitted to excessive levels of exercise, especially on hotter days. It's almost ironic that these dogs have high levels of energy, so what you can do is play fetch or go for a walk or even for a run with either breed, but pay attention to their breathing and stay sharp in case you hear it increase in speed. While Boston Terriers enjoy all kinds of activities, French Bulldogs aren't that excited to jump or run. A walk or a hike will do the trick for your Frenchie. The average lifespan of a Boston Terrier is between 12 and 14 years, while French Bulldogs live for around 10 years. Their short muzzles make both of them prone to respiratory problems and they're at risk for heat stroke in hot weather. Boston Terriers are prone to cataracts and seizures and may suffer from allergies and deafness. French Bulldogs can also have problems with their eyes, heart and back and they can suffer from obesity if overfed and under-exercised. While it may not necessarily be a health concern, both breeds are known as loud snorers. We'll warn you, it can be very unpleasant. Both breeds have friendly, strong personalities. They like to clown around and make excellent companions for anyone who decides to adopt one of them, and both breeds like being the center of attention. So if you're a parent of a very young child, you should introduce your puppy to that young family member. Since dogs are social animals, they can also act jealous if they become neglected. So you need to make a good strategy and involve your furry friend in your new daily routines. Terriers and Frenchies are good with children and are more than okay with playing with them all day long. They tend to make a strong bond with the younger and can become great guardians. Since neither of the breeds need a lot of exercise, they can be suitable for someone living in a small home such as flats and apartments. Yes, they need their daily exercise, but they can control their energy indoors and are capable of cuddling next to you on the couch. They can adapt really well to any environment, so whatever kind of person you are, either of these breeds will be happy to live with you. As you can see, both dogs can be similar physically and mentally, both showing territorial instincts but a playful nature, easygoing if trained but stubborn and bullish if poorly trained. Overall, a bit of consistency in your training and you'll have, in either of these breeds, a great companion for any kind of lifestyle you carry. That's our video for today, everybody. What did you think? Let us know in the comments below what you want us to cover next time. See you in the next video.